Let's move back to our top story. That is the near catastrophic car chase that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, along with Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, were involved in last night. This is after being pursued by paparazzi in New York. Their spokesperson has released this statement. This relentless pursuit, lasting over two hours, resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. Joining me to discuss this is Talk TV's Royal Editor Sarah Hewson. And Sarah, one of the interesting things that's happened since our knowledge of this story broke, which is about an hour and a half ago now, is that various photographs that were online to illustrate this of Harry and Meghan uh, after this car chase have disappeared? There were some images that appear to have been taken during this what, car chase that took place over the course of two hours, mm -hmm. according to a uh, spokesperson for Harry and Meghan. They were on some websites here in the UK. They have now been removed. I have seen some of the images. Uh, the couple appear to have left. You can see a black SUV mm -hmm. uh, which was used by the couple to arrive at uh, the venue, the theatre in New York last night where they were attending at the Women of Vision Awards yeah. where Meghan was being awarded. And they left in that same vehicle. The images that were taken during uh, this apparent chase show them in a yellow taxi, a New York taxi. So it would appear that during the course of that two hour period, they decided, uh, on the advice of their security detail, we can only presume, to switch vehicles in order to try to throw the paparazzi off the scent. So they, they left at around 10 p.m. last night. This uh, lasted over two hours. They are believed to have been staying at a private residence in New York that belonged to a friend of theirs. And uh, it has been reported that they didn't want to return there to compromise their friend's privacy uh -huh. and security. So. Uh, they were trying to lose the paparazzi. Twelve paparazzi, uh, it's been claimed at the beginning, uh, then four uh, for the latter part of uh, that chase, as they uh, describe it. They were not hurt, but they were left shaken and upset by this. It was Harry, Meghan and Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, in the vehicle. Uh, Omid Scobie, who uh, wrote the book Finding Freeman mm -hmm. and is close uh, to the couple, said, despite being confronted by uniformed police multiple times, the paparazzi's cars continued their pursuit in trying to follow the Sussexes and Doria to the private residence they were staying at. Traffic violations by the drivers include driving on a sidewalk, going through red lights, reversing down a one-way street, driving while photographing, and illegally blocking a moving vehicle. It's been claimed there were up to six cars involved in this. We have uh, put in an approach to the New York Police Department to try and get a clearer picture of what happened. They have said no comment as yet, although they are quoted on the New York Times as saying they don't have a report of a car chase involving the Prince and Meghan in the area and there were no reports of any injuries or a crash, no immediate details about the incident, but we are waiting for a statement from um, them. This is, this is a somewhat bewildering story, I think, and I'm sure many other people listening and watching may agree. There may be obviously people who don't think it's strange, but I, 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 I am confounded by the idea of uh, giving chase or being chased mm -hmm. or participating in any kind of car chase, given Prince Harry's acute memory of, of his tra tragic loss of his mother in a in a car chase. You you would think you just wouldn't go for it. You wouldn't ch be chased. You'd pull over and wait and just wait. Look, I think there are questions for, for all involved in this, for the paparazzi who appear to have been surrounding the vehicle and, according to the Sussexes, putting lives at risk. But there are also going to be questions for their private security mm. detail about how they dealt with this in order for it to last for some two hours. And, and we don't I, know I, the circumstances. We don't know what was going on, why they continued in the car. We, we, we have seen these reports. They didn't want to put anyone's privacy at risk, so they were trying to evade them, hence potentially changing vehicles and thinking they might mm -mm. be able to, to get that's away such that a way. Poor, but it, 
policy of behaviour is it's so potentially dangerous and as they say you know almost catastrophic it's a terrible idea and you know if you're staying with great friends and you didn't want the paparazzi to follow you into the house they can't anyway they can't get out and walk in the door with mm. you so even if they don't have gates even if they don't have a drive even if it's a front door and you've got to get out of the of your SUV surrounded by your security detail and simply walk in it's still not an invasion of the privacy of the people that you're staying with is it? Well, we don't know what the decision making that was going on when they were in this moment, but we do know that this is a real issue for Harry. Yes. Even this week, his case has been back before the High Court. Uh, he wants the Home Office to provide him and his family with Metropolitan Police protection whenever he is in the United Kingdom. He has said previously that it's not safe for his family to return until his level of security is raised again. He lost it uh, when he moved to the United States and, and left his role as a working member of the royal family. He has spoken at length about media intrusion. He has spoken at length about the, the behaviour of the paparazzi. He blames the paparazzi for the crash that led to the death of his mother in Paris in August 1997. And so for them, incidents like this, and they are not alone, this is not a, an isolated incident, but appears to have been very dramatic by their account, mm -hmm. uh, will have horrifying echoes. I mean, the whole that. thing, I think, is, is a most peculiar story. It, it really is. I mean, the idea of catastrophe averted, obviously, if the catastrophe hasn't happened, and thank goodness it hasn't, and praise the Lord that it hasn't, but it hasn't. So you can't really confidently assert that there would have been a catastrophe if it hasn't actually happened. So that's a rather peculiar one. It's also highly dramatic to say a catastrophic car chase and you know that the catastrophe was averted it's 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 kind of seeing into the future which you can't really do um it's very heightened language you might think it was really the opposite of the kind of language that harry's father would use under similar circumstances the veritable opposite in fact the diametric opposite of something designed to take the heat out of a situation mm. or something designed to put the heat into a situation but i think this tells us a lot about their feelings about the paparazzi and their fears and, and this is, you know, one of the biggest issues for them. Look, they left the United Kingdom mm. for uh, greater control over the narrative, but also greater privacy. Uh, they felt that there was huge intrusion into their lives uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, this incident in New York last night, it was their first appearance since Harry returned to the UK for the coronation. Uh, Meghan has been keeping a relatively low profile of late. Uh, we saw photographs of them uh, going out for dinner uh, where Cameron Diaz and Gwyneth Paltrow were also said to be in the same restaurant. Uh, they uh, have not really been seen very much, of course, and this was uh, much built up her appearance mm. to collect this award. Uh, you can see there, it, it appears them going in through a back entrance to get into the theatre through a car hire uh, office in order to get in, uh, whether that was to evade some of the crowds outside. But the pictures I've seen of them leaving, there are huge numbers of photographers and crowds gathered outside. There is still an awful lot of interest in this couple. There, there is, but the question mark hangs over this because what are the most lucrative paparazzi shots? What are the shots they're desperate to get? And those are the shots of people doing things they're not supposed to be doing with people they're not meant to be doing them with. Or people looking harassed and anxious in or, or the back of a car and, and, and anxious, you can use that to tell a different story. Possibly. Potentially. Possibly. I mean, I did see um, some of these pictures going around social media earlier today saying, well, look, they don't look happy together. Mm. Of course, now we've had this explanation as to why they were in the back of a taxi looking rather uh, stressed. Earlier this week as well, we now have had reports, Vanessa, that on Monday morning at two o'clock in the morning, an alleged stalker was arrested outside their Montecito mansion in mm -hmm. California. So all of this playing into 
what Prince Harry argues is a need for greater security and privacy. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a fascinating story. Obviously, mm. I'm very pleased indeed, as everybody is, that they are healthy and they've escaped unscathed. That's the crucial thing. Nobody's been hurt. None of the paparazzi have been hurt either. That's the main thing. And of course, that's the bottom line here. But I still am confused by this one enormously. And I think that's why we need to hear yes, from the Yes, I mean, number one, and... your, you know, your mother was killed in a, in a car chase. Don't enter a car chase. Number two, why do they want to get pictures of them so desperately when they've just had numerous pictures? We're showing them on our television screen now. If you're watching this on the radio or listening on the radio, you, you can't see it, but you can see Harry and Meghan going into the event, coming out of the event. You see Meghan giving speeches at the event. You can see them walking through a car hire place to get in. You can see them getting an SUV coming out. I mean, it's not like there haven't been any pictures of them. We've seen them. And they're with the mother-in-law. They're not with some secret people that they're not supposed to be with. So the, the, the kind of heat to get the pictures is, is bewildering and shocking. And the heat to escape the paparazzi is also shocking. The fact that they were staying with a private individual, I don't think adds up at all, because they weren't going to end up filming in the private individual's bathroom, were they? And in terms of, of the images, there is one extra line from uh, the statement from the Sussex's spokesperson, which says, dissemination of these images, given the ways in which they were obtained, encourages a highly intrusive practice that is dangerous to all involved. I mean, and that is one of the areas that Prince Harry really wants to see change, this media intrusion as he sees it, uh, the use of photographs, the, uh, the way in which photographs are obtained mm -hmm. and the price at which, which they can reach but I'm Which, saying you don't have to be chased if you stand still or sit I, still. In I the can't privacy say of we your weren't SUV. in that car. But, um, but you don't have to. You don't have to participate mm. in a chase. It is dangerous. We all know it's terribly dangerous, and inadvertently, all kinds of terrible accidents can occur if you're chasing through traffic in a busy public highway. Of course, they can. Well, we all know that. We know that now, and Harry knows it even more acutely than anybody else in the world knows it. How dreadful the consequences can be. So remove yourself from the fray and don't be chased. Just don't participate. I'm astounded by the whole story. I really am, and particularly if there's nothing to hide and you've just been massively photograph then don't don't run away sit still I'm not saying let them take your picture sit in your blacked out vehicle sit still and don't participate in a chase that might end up harming other people and yourself and the the people chasing you just don't do it I, I guess their argument would be well how long do you sit there for because they're not going to give up and then where do you go from there uh, it, it's a very difficult one and, and it is very unclear uh, at the moment exactly what happened well you All drive very face. very slowly and mm. sedately mm. You just drive in the slow lane slowly. Most would say you'd be doing that anyway in New York traffic. Well, quite. Well, that's also true. It's also true. This is a bewildering story. Of course, we're very mm. glad indeed that they're well and unharmed. Mm. That's the bottom line. But a very strange story all round, I mm. think. Thank you, Sarah, very much Thank indeed. You.